prices are also similar. Basically, $1,000 a day, but you're taking care of yourself. You've got all the food. You've got all the drinks. And you're having to do some work and some cleaning because there isn't the staff. And that's why probably 75 or 80 percent of our vacations, maybe higher, are accrued, all-inclusive vacations because, again, for $2,500 a person, give or take $500, you get a dream vacation, five-star food, all the drinks you want, so long as you stay safe on an amazing floating condominium called a catamaran. It's amazing. It's, it's an easy thing to sell. The bigger problem for us is getting people that are going to go skiing in Vail to even consider us as an option. Or if they're thinking about going to Italy, maybe instead, because they don't even know that for $2,000 they can take this vacation on Miss Kitty, on Bella Vida, on you know, any of these amazing books. And that's the battle, right? The sense I get of this is that um, it works out much more economical when it's a group of people as against yes. just a couple, yes. for example. Very, very much so. The most painful thing in the world, although they're amazing vacations and, and they're trips of a lifetime for a family, is to watch mom and dad flip the bill for you know, the entirety of one of these vacations. Because for them, it's, it's a really big deal because now they're, now they're totally flipping the bill. When you say flipping the bill, you mean because mom and dad on their own are covering the cost. Is that what you mean? That's exactly right. Yeah. Right. If, if mom and dad brings four children, it's still a $12,000 vacation or right. 2000 a person. It's just one wallet paying it. Yeah. It's a big deal. That's a lot bigger deal than the Jones, the Smiths, and the Williams coming down on a vacation and everybody puts out four. Right. That's, that's a big difference, right? So when you um, charter so, these, uh, what's, you know, what's the proportionality like of instances where you have a, a group of adults chartering it as against a family with children? What, what's the more common? It's at least 75 or 80 percent couples, at least. Oh, right. Um, okay. But in, in general, over the course of the year, now we have pockets of the year where it's heavy family. For two weeks in March over high school and college spring right. breaks, it, there's families everywhere. And then in general, July and August, a lot of families, a lot of families, obviously the summertime. Yeah. The adults, the, the three couples, four couples, two couples doing the trip are, you know, middle of December through the end of May. That's almost all we get. Huh. Six happy people come in and uh, six very happy people leaving. 